All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Stephen V. Richardson speaking to you from beautiful San Francisco, California. We're going to wait until we get live on Zoom. Congratulate each and every one of you for hopping in. For those of you who are on Zoom and you have the ability to log in via Facebook, I actually recommend that if possible, you hop over to Facebook just because we're going to do something very special and really reward the people who are plugging in and promoting this platform. So if you have the ability to be on Facebook, you can actually put comments and likes and share and watch parties. And somebody from Corpo is actually going to select uh, one or maybe a few random people who are going to get some special prizes. Uh, you can do that either live now or later on. But I am excited to be here. We're going to start in just a couple of minutes. We are live on Facebook now, Stephen. We are live on Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Stephen V. Richardson speaking to you from an undisclosed location in beautiful San Francisco, California. I am so excited to be here this morning on Feature Friday, an organo platform that has been put in place by our amazing servant leaders to keep everybody connected, to keep everybody plugged in. We're going to launch everything in just a minute. Going to give people the opportunity to give us some likes, give us some love, but most importantly, tag people who you believe could benefit from checking out what we're getting ready to share. Put some comments. Let us know where you are. I'm going to see if I actually can do this without messing up my audio. Take a look over here and see if I can go over. If not, that's okay. All right, we're going to keep it. So I'm not going to be able to see who is plugging in and who is putting a like, but definitely let us know where you are plugging in from. Give us your name and the city, the country that you're plugging in. We're going to get started in about 60 seconds. Once again, this is Stephen V. Richardson speaking to you from beautiful San Francisco, California, sending each and every one of you my positive thoughts and vibrations. Uh, feel free to tag people who you care about, tag people who you believe could benefit from hearing some extremely positive information. Do those shares, do those tags, host as many watch parties. And once again, for those of you who do not know this, we're going to do something very, very special, which means if you are really plugging in and participating, not just receiving the information, information, participating by liking, more importantly, participating by putting in comments, sharing, and doing watch parties. Somebody from corporate's going to go back and take a look and see who was really contributing to today's, today's session, and they're going to go back and randomly select one or maybe a few uh, special people to get some prizes. So definitely want to be rewarded for plugging in. We are less than 30 seconds from getting started. I am so excited about what's getting ready to happen. So actually, we're going to go ahead and get started. If you're ready, say you're ready. No matter if you're all by yourself. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Stephen V. Richardson speaking to you from San Francisco, California. This is probably the most nervous I've been on a call in a very long time. Now, obviously, I've been on this platform a few times. I've, I've been in front of a, a few people in a few places done a few things, seen a few things, but I'm excited about this morning's call primarily because and nervous because I'm going to be sharing some information that I've never shared with anybody. I don't know if you've ever heard of the statement, dance like no one's watching. Well, I'm going to do today's webinar as if no one is listening. And I'm just going to have a conversation with myself. I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at why I am who I am. Now, some of you have no idea who, who's talking to you. And some of you know me as being one of, I'll go ahead and say it, one of the loyal, committed, committed dedicated organo distribution partners that has been in the trenches since November 15th, 2009, celebrating well over 10 years as a proud organo family member. And if you've seen anything I've done online, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or whatever, whatever I do, you'll always see me smiling. You'll always see me laughing. You'll always see the positivity. And I get a couple of, let's just say, questions from people. People ask me, have you always been like this? Have you always been this positive? Or some people say, wow, Stephen sure is lucky. He sure has a blessed life. And both of them are right. But I want you to understand that where I am now is a process. 
I am here because of the work that I put in. And this happiness thing, it, it requires work. So for the first time ever, I'm, I'm going to share things with you that I've never shared with anybody, not even my wife, because I want you to know what I need to do, what I am doing day in and day out to be happy and grateful truly inside my soul and my spirit every single day, because I was not always like this. I rode what I call the roller coaster emotions every single day. I'm here in San Francisco looking out in the sky and it is overcast. Some people would say it's gloomy. Some people would attach the weather to an emotion. I used to do that. If the weather was nice, I felt good. If the weather was cloudy, I didn't. If someone was nice to me, I felt happy. If someone was mean to me, I felt sad. If my sports team won, I was happy for some ridiculous reason. If they lost, I was literally devastated. I was riding a roller coaster of emotions every single day. And somehow I finally figured out, maybe after 45, almost 50 years on this planet, I realized a few things. I realized that I feel the emotions that I focus on. I feel how I want to feel. I realized sometime about 10 years ago that happiness is a skill. Now, if I ever make that statement in front of people, most people will just nod or, or automatically just acknowledge that that's true. But if you really understood what that means, it would change your life the way it changed my life. Happiness is a skill. By definition, I've never looked it up, but my definition is anything that one can learn, improve, and possibly master is a skill. So if that's the case, and it is, are there things that one can do to be happier? Are there things that one can do to boost their emotions? Maybe it's the words they speak. Maybe it's the things they hear, the people they surround themselves with. There are people who look at today and think one thing, and people who look at, at and think another, and it's the exact same day. So here's a look behind the scenes on what I do every single day to have been prepared for what no one knew was coming, but now it's here upon us and everybody's having to deal with it their own special way. First and foremost, and I don't think I'm gonna tell you anything new, but I'm taking it to a whole different level that'll at least one, if not everybody on this phone, on this, on this call is gonna think that I am crazy and you are right. So first thing, what do I do? I have three by five cards. You can get them at any dollar store any 99 cent store and I have three by five cards. Now, if you did nothing more than what I'm gonna share with you over the next 60 seconds, I believe it will change your life. Write down on a piece of paper, preferably something you can carry around all day, every day, and write down what you are happy and grateful for. And when you are writing them, when you are reading them, when you're feeling them, I dare you to feel happiness and gratitude. I am happy and grateful for my wife, happy and grateful for my son, happy and grateful for challenges, happy and grateful for haters, happy and grateful for organo, happy and grateful for Ganoderma. I am happy and grateful for the competition, for my business partners. I am happy and grateful. I write this out. I put it with me. I carry it with me right out on a piece of paper. This is, and I'm, I'm just talking to myself. This is one of the things I started doing, writing. You, you've heard this. Some of you do this, but do you do it enough? Could you do it more? If it works in one place, can it work someplace else? So here's just some of the things I do. I write down on a piece of paper the things that I'm happy and grateful for. I write down on a piece of paper the emotions that I want to feel. People ask you every single day. You tell people every single day how you feel. What are you saying? Are you saying how you really feel? Are you saying how you felt? Or are you saying how you want to feel? I say how I want to feel. When someone asks me how I'm doing, I know that is a trick question. Now, they're not being trick, trick, you know, tricky on purpose. It's a trick question because they don't really want to know how I'm feeling. I need to tell them how I want to feel. I realized way back in my retail frontline days that if I said an over-the-top positive reaction, it would catch people off guard. 
It would make them feel better. It would give them a, a better positive impression of me. And it would make me feel better no matter what I was going through. I have never, I don't know if I've ever in the last 10 years told somebody how I really felt a moment ago. I tell them how I want to feel. How do I feel? I feel how I want to feel. How do I want to feel? I feel the things I talk about. I feel amazing. I feel powerful. I feel courageous. I feel blessed. I feel believing. I feel intelligent. I feel rich. I feel happiness. I feel gratitude. I tell myself that thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And guess what? I trick myself into feeling that way. I dare you. I dare, I double dare you. You know who I'm talking to. I double dare you to write on a piece of paper, not how you're feeling at the moment, but how you want to feel. And always say that. Google it. Google positive words and write down the, there aren't that many. There aren't that many, really. Write down how you want to feel. In the, in the comments below, if you're on Facebook, not only to make you feel better, not only to put this positive energy into the universe, but also to possibly win a prize because you're engaging in today's platform, I want you to put how you feel. How are you feeling? How do you want to feel? Are you amazing? Are you rich? Are you a diamond? Are you terrific? Are you marvelous? Are you thankful? How do you feel? Happy and grateful, healthy and strong. How do you feel? It's so simple to change your feeling by changing your words, which changes your thoughts, which changes your vibration. You've heard this, you know this, you probably taught it. Are you doing it all day, every day? Third piece of paper I write down. This, this is my core three. Never called it that before, but we'll call it that this morning. Here's my core three. How I feel, what I'm happy and grateful for, and what I am. What am I? I am what I say I am. Here's what I realized. I realized that everything I have been, everything that I am, everything that I'm going to be, I was that thing when I was put on this planet. It's almost like an acorn. Is it an acorn or is it an oak tree? Is it an oak tree or is it an oak tree forest? That oak tree forest came from the inside of an acorn. Everything that you are going to become, you already are. So why not speak it now? I think Dr. Bob talked about it on a recent call. You have to be it in order, in order to become it. So who are you? Write down on a piece of paper, I am A. And write down everything. Maybe you're a son. Maybe you're a father. Maybe you're a believer. Maybe you're a dreamer. Maybe you're an OG diamond. Whether or not it's reflected in the back office or not, what are you? I am a caregiver. I am a champion. I am a visionary. I am a leader. Say it to yourself over and over and over and over and over again and trick yourself into believing it. And guess how you'll feel? At least better. At least better. Why am I like the way I am? Because I say this to myself all day, every day. I write it all day, every day. I read it all day, every day. I feel it all day, every day. I don't just have it on a, in a journal somewhere. I don't just have it on three by five cards in my pocket. I have it everywhere. Do you know everywhere? You know what everywhere means? I have it in my car. I have it in my garage. I have it on my ceiling. I have it everywhere. When I'm in my car, I'm paying attention. I'm driving 10 and 2 most of the time. I'm looking ahead. I'm looking behind. All kind of stuff is going on out there, right? So I know that even if I'm looking through the windshield where I'm looking, supposed to look at, checking my mirrors, I know that my peripheral vision is picking up my positive words and is storing them permanently onto my hard drive. A few years ago, one of my mentors, somebody that everybody on this call probably knows who, who this person is, he said, Stephen, your brain is just like Google, and Google is just like your brain. And I said, huh? He said, yeah, when you search for something online or in your brain, all it's going to give you is what you've put in there the most. It's not going to give you the truth. It's not going to give you facts. It's going to give you simply, that's how search engines work. It doesn't. It doesn't fact check them, it goes by quantity. So what are you putting into your head? 
Are you putting in the poison of the news? Are you putting in the poison of the politics? Are you putting in positive words, positive images, positive emotions all day, every day in your car, in your house, in your garage? If people are going to think you're crazy. Guess what? They're right. I have it in my car. I have it in my house. Now, transparency. I don't have this. If you're, if you're looking online, I don't have this up in my bathroom now. Let's just say I did this while my wife was out of town a while ago. And when she came back, I said, hey, surprise. <laughs> I, I had to tone it down just a little bit. And I'm moving this from, let's just say, the, the shared bathroom area into one of my offices so I can really just crank it up even another notch. All, do you understand what all day, every day means? What do some of these, let's just say, words of, of inspiration, talking to myself, what are they? What do they say? Well, some of them are my primary affirmations. Major centers of influence are attracted to me and join my business every single day. Major centers of influence are attracted to me and join my business every single day. What are you saying to yourself? What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying to yourself every single day? What are you saying? You, you say what you think is possible. What do you think is possible? I now here's, um, I, I said I'm going to share some things with you that I've never shared with anybody before. Here's an example of one of those. I would never, in normal circumstances, tell what I'm telling you right now because, first of all, it's kind of embarrassing. And also, what right do I have to say, I speak like a diamond, I think like a diamond, I believe like a diamond, I work like a diamond, I sacrifice like a diamond, I serve like a diamond, I produce like a diamond, I feel like a diamond, I am a diamond. How can I say that? That's, what, that's not what the back office says. That, that's, not what, that's not what the world says yet, but I know who I am. I can say this to myself. I, I'm just, I'm talking to myself right now. This is what I say to myself, and this is how I say it all day, every day. And while some of these things aren't true yet, some of them are, right? And guess what I do? I keep saying it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And it makes me feel good. It makes me feel happier. It makes me believe bigger. I, don't, I never say an affirmation in the future. It's either in the present or in the past. If you're speaking an affirmation in the future, you could speak it and feel it and it could work and it could never happen because it's in the future. Put yourself on the other side. I congratulate myself all the time. Congratulations, Stephen. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Why do I tell myself that I'm proud of you? Nobody else says it. It's okay. I can say it to myself. I am so proud of you. You did it. How did I do it? I did it by creating my future, one positive word at a time, one thought at a time, one belief, image, interaction, experience, failure, goal, one day at a time. That's how I do it over and over. Stephen, I believe in you. You can do this. Stephen, I believe in you. You can do this. Stephen, I believe in you all day every day. This is what I'm writing. This is what I'm saying. I record it. I listen to it over and over and over and over and over again. Why am I still here after 10 years? Because this is what I do. This is the work that is necessary to keep going. When my sponsor quit, what I do? I kept going. When my sponsors, sponsor quit. What I do? I kept going. When my sponsors, sponsors, sponsor quit. What I do? I kept going. When my team quit on me, what I do? I kept going. Why? Because Stephen, I believe in you. I'm so happy and grateful that I did the work necessary to personally sponsor 12 people in 30 days. I have said this thousands and thousands and thousands of times. And when I get tired of saying it, I record it and listen to it thousands of times over and over and over. And when I look to my left, when I look to my right, and I see that nobody's there at the moment in the physical, sometimes I have to remind myself, I understand that I've chosen a path that is lonely, that most people will not speak, think, believe, sacrifice, or work like me. And guess what? That's okay. My family is depending on me. Who's depending on you? Write down in the comments below if you're on Facebook, write down who is depending on you to figure this out. Who is depending on you to provide? Who is depending on you to get this thing done? Whether it's this or something else, it has to be something. 
who's depending on you write it down in the comments below in facebook is it your mother is it your father is it your spouse or is it your kids is it your community is it who is back home someone's depending on you is it you over and over and over you did it once stephen what i say you did it once you can do it again you did it once you can do it again i'm not talking just about sapphire i'm not talking just about ruby it could have been i sampled one person I sampled one person, you did it once, you can do it again. I sold a box of coffee, you did it once, you can do it again. I put somebody into rapid funnel, you did it once, you can do it again. Over and over and over. Numbers, what, what are my numbers? Some people are looking at this and now I'm completely in, in, in the weeds. They have no idea, what are these numbers? What's, what's 120, 12, two, these, every, these mean something to me. They don't have to mean something to you, Find what means something to you and put it out there in the universe so that you can see it, so that the world can see it. I know that when I properly take 120 people through the process of exposure, maybe it's using Rapid Funnel, maybe it's using the videos, maybe it's giving a call or a sample or a follow up, maybe it's doing something, but when I take 120 people properly through the process, I will identify at least 12 who allow me to help them. That'll be plugged into my organization in the dual team. That'll build the structure of 20 people on the left, 20 people on the right. That is building the foundation for an organization of 1,000 distribution partners. Just 1,000? That's not a lot of people. Think of the number of people in your city. Think of the number of people in your area. Think of the number of people in your state, in your region, in your country, in this world. Are you kidding me? Can we find 40? Can you find 12 in three days to go Sapphire again or for the first time? Can you find a thousand people to help even before the craziness that's going on right now? Can you find a thousand? Can you find 1,000 people who want to earn just a little bit of extra income? $300 to $500, maybe a couple hundred dollars, something, anything. When I have a thousand helping them find just 10 people to help individually, that means I have a foundation of 10,000 loyal customers. That's just one person getting 10. I got 1,000, 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. Each of those people just buying two boxes of coffee, normal consumption, barely, not even two to three cups of coffee every single day. That's generating $300,000 of volume in a calendar month. And I'm just going to guess what a commission would be when I'm helping people duplicate that throughout the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I see all the time. I get images. You can't put an image on the internet that's positive about Organo, and I'm not going to capture it, store it, and use it for my fuel. Sapphire. Sapphire, sapphire, ruby, emerald, diamond, sapphire, ruby, emerald, diamond, sapphire, ruby, emerald, diamond, over and over and over. I put pictures in front of me to inspire me. I know that when I see a sapphire, a ruby, an emerald, a diamond, where they are now, they don't look so good. They don't look so sharp. They don't look so polished because they are where they are now, but they aren't where they're going to be. So I know that when I see them, and I attract them, I develop them, I help them, I serve them, then they become the real diamonds. Stephen, dare to be a diamond. Stephen, dare to be a diamond. Stephen, take a deep breath, keep calm, and go diamond. Go diamond, Stephen. You can do this, Stephen, because diamonds are forever. You can do this, Stephen. I, if I'm driving in a neighborhood and I see a sign that says Diamond Heights, and I, what do I do? I don't care what I'm doing. I pull to the side of the road. I take a picture of it, probably with me in it, and I use it for fuel. Steven, I believe in you. You find somebody who's a diamond. Guess what they have somewhere in their house? They have a sword. Hey, can I borrow your sword just to take a look at it? Do you know how a sword feels? Do you know how an organo diamond sword feels? how heavy it is, how it's balanced. Do you know what it looks like in your hand? You have to know that you have to be it in order to become it. Once again, kind of side note, I'm sharing things with you that I've not shared with anybody, not my wife of 34 and a half years. This is what I tell my, I see a post 
that says congratulations to the new diamonds in Thailand. I take the picture, copy it, put on it my name. I can't put this out there in the world. First of all, it's gonna give people the wrong impression. If I posted this anywhere, people would lose their mind and think I actually already became a diamond. I can't say that. I can't show this to a diamond because they said, no, you're not. Guess what? Yes, I am. Congratulations, new diamonds, Stephen and Nora Corrison. This is what I do. Do you know what an actual pin looks like, the diamond pin? I do. I tracked down a diamond after, after one of the, the ceremonies. I said, can I see it? Can I take a picture of it? What's the wrapping that it came with? I take it, I take a picture of it, I put on there, congratulations, new diamond. Steven, do, do you understand the level of how crazy I am, how believing I am, how, how this is necessary? This is the Steven that you guys don't hear. You, 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 you hear the calm, you hear the smiling, you hear the believing, but you don't know what it takes. You didn't know until now what it takes for this to happen. This is the picture of a screen that was on the stage during one of the events. It said, new diamonds. I can't remember who it was. Doesn't matter because it's me. I take a picture of it, I save it, I put my name on it. Now I know what it looks like on the stage of an organo event to celebrate Stephen and Nora Christian at the brand new diamonds. Guess what I do when no one's looking, when you guys are sleeping, getting up early, getting in line, I am serving, I am serving, I am serving, I am volunteering, I am serving, I'm just doing whatever I can do to get behind the scenes so I can sneak on stage, so I can know what it feels like to be in an auditorium looking out at all of my diamonds, all of my emeralds and sapphires and rubies and platinums and customers and my family crying me back on the stage. I know what it feels like to stay on the stage. What if you did it? Is diamond enough? I don't know, but there's more. I could be a blue diamond. I could be a black diamond. I could be a crown diamond. This is not just a picture of a crown. This is a picture of an organo crown, a crown diamond crown. Do you know what it looks like? This is what it looks like. You know what it feels like? I do. You know, what, you know how heavy it is? Get, hey, ladies, this is a message for the ladies. Do you know that if and when you hit crown diamond, you don't just get a crown, you get a, you get a scepter. That's pretty cool. This is, the, this is the crown of Ms. Lilia Batista, crown diamond from the Philippines. I take a picture of it. I visualize it. I celebrate it. Crown ambassador. Hey, when you, when you do enough work, when you believe enough, when you're positive enough, when you help enough people, when you sell enough coffee and tea and Travala and BU, guess what happens? You get paid. Do you know what the rings look like? Do you wanna earn six figures in this business? Well, you have to have a ring. Do you know your ring size? Do you know what we used to do back in the day, way back in 2012? We used to all have to go to the jewelry store and get our ring sizes for the diamond ring that we're gonna get whenever it happens. This is what a $100,000 ring looks like. Guess what happened? They can do it, I can do it. He, if he can do it, I can do it. If she can do it, I can do it. Th this hand looks very familiar to some people, but especially me because this is my hand. I found it, I found the diamond who was making a, who, who earned the $500,000 ring. Guess what I did? Hey, can I borrow your ring just for a second? Now, I'm not saying you can walk up to a complete stranger diamond and borrow stuff for them, but when you serve, when you volunteer, when, you, when you're there all the time, when you're plugging in, when you're following the system, when you're paying the price, guess what they say? Sure. Don't go anywhere, but sure. I put it on my hand. I know what it feels like. I know what it looks like to wear a half a million dollar earner ring. Is that enough? Maybe. What, but there's more. I know what a million dollar ring feels like on my hand. Now, I would never in, the, in my world have a ring this big unless it said I earned a million dollars helping a lot of people doing it. I'm, here's how crazy I am. This is just me talking to myself. I don't have vision of Facebook. I don't even know if we're still live. I'm just in the car on the side of the road talking to myself. What do I do? I, I take a picture. If you have an iPhone, you take a picture of your hand, you put a ring on it, you can give back the ring. You can put the iPhone on your hand, look at the hand, and you can always look like you look like you have the ring of that. Do you understand how crazy I have to be to do this over and over and over and over again? 
this is what you say you want. Do you know what it looks like? Do you know what it feels like? Oh, is a million enough? I don't know. How about two million? It's been done. If he can do it, I can do it. If she can do it, I can do it. I know what it feels like to wear the ring. Oh, is it, is, is organo, is it okay? Do people actually make money? I know the person who earned this. I know how many people he had to help. I know that he had a fourth grade education. Are you kidding me? If you have more than a fourth grade education, you have more and more education than the person who earned a $4 million ring. Are you kidding me? Over and over. Another side note, something I never show anybody. I've never shared this with anybody, not even my wife who's in this picture. I see it every single day. I say it every single day over and over and over. You're a diamond, Stephen. You're a diamond, Stephen. You can do this, Stephen. I believe in you, Stephen. I'm so proud of you, Stephen. Over and over and over and over again. Sapphire, ruby, emerald, diamond. Sapphire, ruby, emerald, diamond. Who are you doing this for? I'm doing it for my family. In the comments below, I hope somebody out there is, I have no idea if I'm not even online, right? I have no idea if anybody's plugged in. I hope I'm talking to at least one person who understands what I'm trying to say and how I'm trying to help by sharing. It's almost like I'm sharing my private diary that I've never shared with anybody. Who am I doing this for? I'm doing it for my family. Write in the comments below who you're doing this for. Is it your family? Is it your mom? Is it your dad? Is it your community? Is it your country? Is it just for common good? Who are you doing this for? I get pictures that fire me up. I, I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to fire you up, but I know what this means to me. It means don't mess with me when I'm running. Have you ever seen a diamond in the hunt? I, I wasn't there, but I can imagine. I can imagine Miss Diane Solano, as tiny as she is, as smiling as she is, I can just imagine what she was like when she was in the hunt. Don't get in her way. She's not messing around. She's helping a lot of people. She's running. She's moving. I see this and I see fire. I see inspiration. I see a picture. I put some caption on it. I say, come on. Come on, Stephen. You can do this. You can do this. Out of all the things you've been through, all the sacrifices, all the people you tried, you can do this. Come. I say it over and over. I see it. I feel it fly high above the clouds. There's a storm going on right now. If you were an eagle, what would you be doing? You would be flying high above the clouds, knowing that after the rain is always a storm. Pictures I, I create only for myself. What type of mindset must you have, Stephen? Have the mindset of an eagle flying above the clouds. Have the mindset of a, li of a lion. You're not stronger. You're not bigger. You're not prettier. Well, maybe. You're not prettier, but you're the king. Keep moving like a shark. Keep moving like a rhino. You're a diamond. You can do it. Impossible? No, I'm possible. Over and over and over and over and over and over. I'm doing this all day. I find pictures that inspire me. Be a champion. Be kind and gentle and serving like diamond ambassador Manny Pacquiao, I want you to be strong on the inside, but kind on the outside. I want you to serve your people, your community, your family. Be a champion. Be a champion. You can do this. Remember where you've been. Remember what you've experienced. Remember what your wife deserves. Remember how it feels to hold the sapphire eagle above your head, even if it wasn't on stage, which it wasn't, by the way, even if it was in a small hotel room in Oakland, California, remember how it feels, remember how it was, remember what you accomplished, remember how many people you inspired by being one of the first members of the OG Ben Club, remember that you did it once, you can do it again, you did it once, you can do it again, remember what you've learned, you know what you've learned, you know how to say it, you know how to train it, you know how to do it, just do it. Do it more, do it every single day. Now, I'm gonna pause so I can share with you something even more, than what used to be embarrassing, but now I take pride in it. If you look at this picture, it is something I created way back in 2012. I was doing a leadership training in my house and I was just grabbing some general topics of the foundation of this business. Whatever you've learned from anybody, it's on this page. There's not, nothing's been new. But what, what, what do some of you notice in the upper left-hand corner? How badly do you want to be a diamond? This is what I was asking other people. I wrote this, that diamond was done. 
signed, sealed, and delivered, done in 2012. 2012 came and went. Did I quit? Did I go somewhere else? Did I hop, hop, hop like the other hop, hop, hoppers? No. I said, okay, I guess I need to give more. I need to serve more. I need to do more. I need to believe more. I was sitting on the table with Casey Nielsen Martin when she had just hit the level of diamond. And I looked at her across the table. I said, Casey, what do you need to do to go blue? Uh, actually, I'm sorry. She was blue diamond. They had just hit blue diamond. And I said, Casey, what are you working on in order to go black? Without hesitation, she looked me in my eyes and she said, believe more. Believe more. 2012, 14, 15, 16, 17. Did I quit? No, I kept going. I kept believing. I kept serving. I kept saying positive words, positive images. Why in the world, and this is only one, this is, why do I take pictures of tables? When you see this, you just see a picture of an event. You just see probably some empty tables. Doesn't mean anything to you. What does it mean to me? This is my table. This is my diamond table. I know where I'm sitting. I know my wife is next to me. I know that Derwin and Jackie are on the left side. I know that Benet and Patrick are on the left side. I know who's at the, I, because I'm there. I know what it feels like. I know what it looks like. This is how I visualize. Why in the world would I take pictures of stairs? You have no idea what this picture means. It means everything to me. I know what it looks like to be backstage before you walk upstage to say your diamond speech, to receive your sword over and over and over again. I don't just dream built inside Organo. I dream out there in the world. I go in a car. You have some nice, nice cars who your leaders are driving. They put in the work, they put in the effort, get in the car. I don't necessarily wanna buy this, that's not the point. Go to the dealership. Whether you can do it now, I'm not sure. You probably at least can go to the lot, go to the dealership, test drive it. Know how it feels to be taken care of, know how it feels to be treated like you have a whole bunch of money. Walk into a fancy dealership, you'll get the experience. Go to a jewelry store with your wife. Find out the one that you really want, not what you can afford at the time, and put it on. Take a picture of it and then see it over and over and over and over again. You might like shoes. I don't really, I'm not really a shoe guy, but I like these shoes. Guess what I did? I put them on. I took a picture of it so I know how it feels. I know how it looks. I can relive this experience all day, every day. When I go to the airport, I, I may be flying coach. But guess what I do? I walk over to first class and I imagine, just my imagination, I know what it feels like to walk over and walk to the first class line and know what it feels like to know that one day it's going to happen where I'm flying first class, dream building all day, every day, everywhere. My shirts, are, my shirts have French, French cuffs. Most people don't do that. I do. I can put reminders. I can borrow the watch. I don't want this watch. I may want to buy, but I know how it feels. I know the weight of a, of a genuine Rolex. I know what those, di I didn't realize, do you, do you know that the diamonds around this actually come off? You, you twist it counterclockwise, you can get it off. You don't know this if you haven't experienced it and you can't have it unless you be it first. Loyalty, unity, edification, over and over and over and over again. I'm at a leadership training. I, I look over to, at, a, at a diamond who I've helped, who I've served, who has a mutual feeling of, of trust and respect. I say, hey, can I borrow your ring just for a second? And then while I'm listening to the meeting, while I'm writing down notes of what they're saying, but also affirmations, I am so happy and grateful that person sponsored 12 new distributors this month. I am so happy and grateful that person sponsored. I'm writing it over and over and over. Like a crazy man. Like, did you ever see, what is it, The Shining? In that scene with Jack Nicholson, Nicholson and his wife looks at the, the, the writings he's been doing for the past several weeks or months, and all it says is one crazy statement over and over and over and over again. This is not just what I do. I know for a fact this is what most of the Diamonds did back in the day during our first wave of growth. A whole bunch of crazy believing people. You're a diamond, Stephen. You can do this, Stephen. When you see this, do you just see a flyer or do you imagine where you're going to go, what your definition of an OG lifestyle is? Maybe it's just getting up when you want to get up. Maybe it's just getting a massage. Maybe it's paying off all your bills. Maybe it's paying for your daughter's wedding. Maybe it's doing this or that. Whatever it is, the definition of an OG lifestyle, you decide.
but it's not gonna happen until you think about it, until you believe it, until you speak it, until you work toward it. Trevon, where are you gonna go? In the comments below, I hope somebody's out. I hope somebody's hearing me. If, if somebody hears my voice, say, I hear you, Stephen. I want you to write down in the comments below where you're going to go on your next trip. Where in the world? We're going to travel again. The airports are going to open up again. There'll be more people wanting to travel than ever before again. Where are you going to go? Who are you going to go with? Write it down in the comments below. Over, guess what I did to build my belief? I went to my corporate office. Go figure. How many people in the Organo Nation, millions and millions of distribution partners and customers over the years have been to your, your corporate office? I went. You want to know why I'm still here? Because I've seen my corporate office. I've seen my warehouse. I've seen my millions and millions and millions of dollars of inventory waiting for me. I have access to it like I put the money up front and I have access to it like it's my business because it is. But because of our amazing business model, I have access to it without putting up any of the work. All I have to do is share. All I have to do is connect. All I have to do is get out there. What is this? This is a picture. I bought this. This is a stand for my sword. I bought this in 2012. 2012. I saw this in a store that was, it was I saw it in a gaming store of all places. It was closing down, and I saw on the wall a whole bunch of swords, and they were selling everything because they were going out of business. I immediately knew what I had to do. I had to buy this because a sword that I'm going to get when I help enough people and I get this thing done, it's going to need a holder. I've been looking at this for the last eight years. I almost blurred out this picture. I almost didn't share this picture because it says something that could be embarrassing. Uh, diamond is done. Exclamation point three times. August 31st. 2012 when it didn't happen did i quit no i kept going i kept believing i am organo we are organ if you're organo if you if you think you're organo in the comments below i want you to write down i am organo i'm not in organo i'm not with organo i am organo we are one team i love the stories of joshua campbell Organo, how many organo orphans are out there? What do I mean by that? I'm not talking about your, your bio, biological parents. I'm talking about there's no one in your upline as far as you can see. There's nobody. Your sponsor quit, your sponsor, sponsor quit, the sponsor, sponsor, sponsor quit. There's nobody. You know, any organo orphans out there, it doesn't matter because someone out there will reach out to you. Someone will be like Diane Solano and take Joshua Campbell into her wing. Someone will be there like Dr. Bob and Kelly Rakowski and, and, and find somebody who does not have any type of support and will take them under the wing and will get, they'll, they won't do the work for you. But we are one team, we are one dream. She did it, if she can do it, I can do it. Why do we line up and take pictures with the diamonds? Is it just to put on Instagram? No, it's to, it's to dream bigger. It's to believe bigger. If she can do it, I can do it. North America Diamond, still happening, still believing, still serving. My amazing sister Odell in, in, in Florida, five foot nothing. I don't know what she's been through. All I know is if you win the, the Renee Keola Award, you've been through some stuff. Love her to death, serving all the time, helping people all the time. My brothers and sisters, I haven't spoken a single word of these, to these people in uh, maybe hello or thank you, but they inspire me. I see them out there traveling the world, serving, helping, showing the plan, selling the coffee, helping people. My, I, I love each and every one of you. My brother Marcus, you, most of you who don't know his story think he's just a diamond. He is million dollar ring earner what i he used to be a truck driver any truck drivers out there anybody who knows a truck driver out there where if you're a truck driver you can be a diamond i love marcus always smiling always serving always committed over and over and over again my brother luis daza out there in bolivia do you know what's going on in bolivia you think what's going on is tough where you are just read the news and realize but guess what my brother's doing 
He is serving. He is helping. He is plugging in. He is believing. He is always smiling. My sister, Deanna Nielsen, five foot nothing. Guess what? She has my back. I know that nothing's going to come at me from that way because she is a powerhouse. She is the absolute best person I've ever met in the world. Major out there in, in Thailand, in Laos. He's a police officer. He's, oh, he has possibly always will be a full-time police officer. Guess what else he is? A blue diamond. If he can do it, I can do it. Earning a $500,000 earner ring. It inspires me. I see a random picture and I know that I'm going to capture it. I'm going to save it and I'm going to use it for fuel. Spread your wings, Stephen. You can do it. The Nielsen's have you back, Stephen. You can do it. If they can do it, you can do it. Crown Ambassador Blanca Sagturis. I met her when she was in Emerald. In Emerald, doing barely $80,000 of business a month. And now she's a Crown Ambassador. When I met her in the beginning, she was afraid to hold a microphone. Maybe I'm wrong. But that's what it looked like. It was shaking. She was stuttering. But now she has become an absolute amazing servant leader. Most of you don't know who this person is. He inspires me. This is Mr. Lee. He's basically responsible for the Ganoderma production that Organo has been sharing with the world all, all these years. Thank you very much, Mr. Lee. Thank you very much, Mr. Chua. I love and appreciate you. Thank you very much, Ms. Adeline Chua. Mrs. Chua has not said a single word on a call or an event once, but I know that she is the rock solid foundation for the Chua family. Thank you very much, Shella. Shella, uh, she's a working mom, by the way, as is Christelle out of our corporate office. Women, you need to know the stories of not only who's out there getting it done in the field, but who's supporting you at the corporate office working tirelessly. For who? For us. Thank you to a family. Thank you, Mr. Paul Caldwell, for believing in me. Guess what? He has my back too. I don't know if there's anybody in the entire organo history who has created a portfolio of photos of me and my, my fellow diamonds. They have my back. Thank you for believing in us. Thank you for serving. Thank you for all of the hard work. Thank you for your daily Monday calls. If you're part of Organo and you're not listening to the Monday calls live if possible, but on recording, I don't know what you're doing. He's taking time out of his busy schedule, building a foundation for the next wave of our growth. And guess who he's doing it for? He's doing it for me. Final thing I'm going to share with you that I haven't shared with anybody. I create pictures. And I have affirmations on my pictures. I say it over and over and over and over and over and over again. I am so happy and grateful that I'm an Organo Diamond, living the number one lifestyle in the world, Stephen V. Richardson Diamond. I am so happy and grateful that I'm an Organo Diamond, living the number one lifestyle in the world, over and over and over and over. Do you understand why I'm still here? Do you understand why I'm so positive? Do you understand why I'm believing? Do you understand that nothing can stop me? No one can stop me. There has to be a point in your life, Stephen, where you plant the flag and you stick and stay and you become the person you were destined to become to help the people you were destined to help and you just do it and you do it over and over and over and over and over again. 10 years, just getting started. I am so happy and grateful for this platform, for the amazing leaders out there, Dr. Bob and Kelly Roskowski, Mrs. Mrs. Solano, Ms. Solano, my brother Marcus, my, my friends and partners at the corporate office, Mr. Edward Vargas, who at most of the time is behind the scenes, just serving the big team, just working for you, working for you, working for you, all day, every day, tirelessly, Ms. Christelle, Ms. Shella, over and over and over again, you can do this. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm probably just talking to myself, but you can do this. You can do this, Stephen. You can do this, Benet. You can do this, Derwin. Fidelia, you can do this. Gabby, you can do this. Nam, you can do this. Wayne in Jamaica, you can do this. Rod Norville, Joshua, you can do this. Andrew and Lamar, you can do this. LaDonda and Andre, you can do this. You probably had no idea what you're getting into. 
hopping onto this random call that sometimes lasts eight minutes. It'll be interesting to see if someone was actually out there, if someone actually heard my voice. But here's the punchline. Ready for the punchline? All of this positivity, all of this belief, all of this desire is nothing but entertainment unless you turn it into action. Going out there and meeting people, whether it's in the physical or whether it's in your list, all those people who you know, all those people you care about, all those people who are hurting, even if they're pretending, even if their mind is closed, like Deanna Nielsen's mind was closed when she was in trouble, when her family was in trouble 11 and a half years ago, and she was praying for an answer. She was praying for somebody, and it came to her in the form of three sachets of coffee, and she wasn't open at the time. But guess what? She became open. You have to turn whatever you're feeling. I don't know if it's, I don't, if you feel better than you felt when you hopped in this call, understand that makes no sense. Your life didn't change. All you did was hear some words, think about some things, see some images, and you felt better. When can you do this for yourself? Anytime. Who can do this? Anybody. If you're doing it, do it more. Do it more. Do it more. I believe in you, Stephen. You can do this, Stephen. I am so happy and grateful to be part of the Organo family. I love you. I believe in you. Put some final comments down there. We're going to pick some, some people who've plugged in, who've done watch parties. I, I don't know. All I know is it's going to be all right. You have an outstanding day. Much love to you. That's it. I'm done.